Hey everyone, so I'm gonna do a get ready with me. I am actually um, going to a concert tonight, so I thought it'd be the perfect time to take you along and kind of see my makeup routine. Um, I'm gonna start off priming my face um, with the Benefit Pore Professional. It's it's an itty bitty one. I get a lot of subscription boxes. I try and use things when I can and, or use them for travel. So this is something that I have yet to invest in, but I heard great things about it so I'm gonna I have a few other ones that I really really like but I thought I'd try this one today I'm just gonna take before I started I kind of prepped my face with a moisturizer or eye cream yeah then I kind of like while I'm doing my makeup I like to also put something on my lips my lips are always super super chapped so I'm just gonna go ahead and put a little moisturizer on them so that when I'm ready for a lipstick, they're also ready for me. So I use the Makeup Forever Ultra HD Foundation, and I'm using Makeup Storage. This is one by Equal Tools, and I super duper love it. I'm just gonna go ahead and pat that in. This is actually just a brand new bottle. I repurchased it. Um, and I've actually really liked it. In between, I tried quite a few. I don't know. I like this one that it's kind of a medium coverage. Bring it down. So, go ahead and get that in. I also kind of use that. I love this uh, sponge because it's like uber bouncy which is kind of one of my favorite things that it goes on pretty lightly so make sure that's all blended to all the places so there's no harsh lines so I don't know what kind of look I'm going to go for today so all right are we all blended in let's see I'm gonna Next up, I'm gonna use a little shadow primer, just a touch. This is by Essence. And I'm gonna get you, I'm gonna zoom you in. That's better. I'm sure you can kind of see. Okay. It's just gonna help my ash head to stay on. But I'm also gonna put on matte, a MAC paint pot just to help color correct my eyelid. And it just so everyone is well aware, I am not. I am not a makeup artist. So um I don't have any like experience I just like makeup and I thought I'd share with you some of the stuff that I use and the look that I'm going for so I'm definitely high maintenance no judgment I use two concealers so this is the NARS concealer um, in medium dark in biscuit so I like the kind of correction it does and the lightweightness of it and then on top of it I put on Tarte Shape Tape in medium. This alone is a little bit much. It's a little bit thick and I find that like I can kind of see between my foundation and my concealer and so I don't I don't like it. So the blend of this too is like my perfect match. So I'm just going to blend that in. I'm using a blue blender now because this kind of has this flat end and although I like it for a foundation and kind of blending when I'm done, I like the point on the beauty blender for really getting in there and working with my lines so it doesn't settle. And then I always kind of take this one that has a little foundation. Kind of go over just so it 
seamless and it's all kind of running together. Ooh, I got some serious bags today. I take some setting powder. This is the cover F, cover FX translucent. And I'm just taking just a little bit to kind of set my concealer. So I'm gonna push that in. Again, I'm using the beauty blender to do this. I like the kind of edge it goes and then I'm going to lightly take some more I just kind of get oily in the tea though so I'm just gonna put it kind of where I get a little shiny okay so I'm actually trying out a new product so I was at TJ Maxx the other day and I found this pro contour palette so I've never really invested in any kind of contour and stuff because it's just not been my thing but um, I was watching 11 gorgeous and they said this is very comparable to the Kat Von D shade and light palette so I thought hey for $5.99 it's worth a shot so I'm gonna do that today so I'm gonna probably take probably a combination of these two colors I'm actually going to take a combination of this one and this one which are both just a little bit cooler so I'm going to stick my and just take a brush and put it Ooh, that is some pig meant you guys that I did not expect that at all so I'm just gonna definitely gonna have to blend that puppy in hopefully it doesn't look too ashy. Go ahead. Okay. It's blending in nicely. I mean, I think kind of like for the price. It gets the job done. I'm just gonna contour underneath my chin. And really kind of blend that in. I'm gonna take a little bit of the lighter color and blend that in just so we can kind of take on some sort of motions. Okay. Awesome. So I think that works. I mean, again, for someone who doesn't contour a lot, it's looking a little bit muddy. We're gonna warm that up a little. This and I'm gonna use my Too Faced chocolate sole. just to kind of blend that a little bit more I don't I don't want it to look ashy it looks pretty natural and then I'm gonna take super high maintenance my hourglass bronzer and throw that on just on my cheeks I kind of just this has a little bit of shimmer in it so I kind of just like this on the, on the cheeks can't really decide if it's between the Lorac and the cinematic in the wet and wild and the wine these are like both of my really go-to blushes but I'm gonna go for the Lorac today I haven't worn this in a while so the set the stain power on this one is a little bit better than the think it's looking okay okay so that part's done next is eyes so I'm actually gonna use the Too Faced peanut butter and jelly palette that's what I think I'm gonna use decisions decisions yeah I am gonna use it I'm gonna go ahead and take just um brush and put it in the color right here peanut butter this smells so good you guys if you have not smelt the Too Faced palette you should I'm just gonna go ahead and blend that in blend that in make sure it's all kind of blend it out and kind of get it all out there 
just a nice transition color. Um, I don't want to go too crazy. But definitely want to. A little definition. Then I'm going to take a smaller brush and go into this little bit of this orangey color, and that's about you. And just stick this in the outer corner. I just kind of blend that in. I'm sure to really blend that in. I'm going to go in with another brush to make sure it's uber blended. So I like this to kind of place it in that outer V and then blend it out. And then go ahead and take your bigger blending brush. Just make sure it's all it's all blended in there. All right, so I think that's kind of again. I'm going for a very simple look. I'm going to take how many brushes do you need? Right, a flat shader brush, and go ahead and take no colors I want in there. The white is very white. I'm gonna go ahead and take tempera from my modern renaissance and then I'll just go ahead and put it near the brow bone. I don't like it to look too starky up there so and then I'm going to take another flat shader brush and I'm going to go ahead and wet that with some matte prep and prime fix plus and struggle is real. I'm going to brighten up that eye. So I'm going to go ahead and go into my Too Faced Chocolate Bar palette in the color Creme Brulee. And go ahead and get that. Pop that right in the middle. I just want to pop that up just a touch. I'm just going to take just a clean brush and make sure everything is blended. I'm going to take a little bit more of that peanut butter color and just blend everything in and make sure that it's all packed in there. Okay. Perfect. Let me see. Yeah. I'm actually going to use a little bit of this peanut brittle right in the corner. I just kind of need a little pop of color. I'm not focused. That in the middle. Just with, I kind of like how fingers can kind of, and then if you kind of want to sharpen up the edges, if you got a little messy, you can always just take, I'm just going to take a little bit extra. You can take powder. I'm just doing it that way. So kind of got like a sunset-y vibe eye. I'm going to go ahead and take another brush and with that original color, which was peanut butter, I'm going to go ahead and get underneath the eye, all under for just to kind of bring it all together like this. And then a smaller one with that to kind of, and that's about you. And just get that on the outer corner. And kind of bring it all together. So here we go. Blend it on. Okay, so now for eyeliner. Eyeliner is always kind of like, uh, what are you gonna do? All right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna do brows. I think I'll do brows. So my brows don't need a lot of filling in. So I'm using Anastasia Brow Wiz just to kind of. I feel like the only place I really feel like I want to always usually film is just kind of extend that tail just just a touch just to make sure it's all in there and this eyebrow and this eyebrow don't match but we're really working on getting this eyebrow to match 
I mean, I want them to be sisters. Right now they're cousins. So, yeah. Where's the lid, huh? And the palette brushes. I also like the Goof Proof Brow Pencil. Um, kind of blending. I, I kind of like the feeling of that one still. I like the preciseness of the Anastasia. I really like the way that this one kind of brings it all together. So, again, high maintenance. Use two. I use two. I'm proud of it. needs a little something to warm it up so I'm using um, this brown color from my Anastasia palette just kind of deepen that up so it just needs a little bit of dimension oh you can see <laughs> It just um, kind of brought it all together. It was looking just a little bit like sometimes if you got too much like red or oranges, you can look a little sickly. Um, so I just wanted to kind of get that. Sorry about the lighting, you guys. It kind of keeps going in and out. It's kind of a funky day. It's, it's um, cloudy outside. I was hoping for better lighting, but you do what you gotta do, right? Brown eyeliner. I'm I am not good at eyeliner, and I want a little bit of a flicky wing, but. Let's see how this goes, you guys. I'll be right back. I gotta do the side down below. Like you can kind of see just a little baby wing, a little bit fatter because we're using the um, eye pencil. But overall, I think it looks okay. Can't be perfect. I'm going to go ahead and curl my eyelashes just a touch. We are almost done with this look. A few more steps and it will be good. I'm going to go ahead and use... My land home mascara. Look, we gotta blend that out, you guys. I can't tell if this that's the camera or that's the contour. Either way, I need to fix that. I'm a little concerned. No nature of that contour. I just didn't think it was going to be that pigmented, you guys. Okay. So, that is it. We're going to go ahead and add highlighter. I'm going to go ahead and use my Makeup Forever highlighter. Oh, I love this highlighter. It's subtle. Um, but then, not so subtle. So, does that make sense? Like, I love the color. I feel like it most of the time just looks really good and not like in your face, but shows up. All right. That is it, just a simple look. I'm gonna go ahead and set my face to I guess too. So I go ahead and use Ribbon Decay All Nighter. And then, once that kind of dries, I'm going to really use Ooh! Ooh, this is bad. <laughs> you guys, look at this. 
droplets everywhere. So, note to self, when you get down really low to your max fix spots, maybe don't use it because it starts to spray just starts to not come out. Exactly right, but what are you going to do about it now, right? So, for lipstick, I'm going to use MAC. And I'm gonna use my all-time favorite Kat Von D liquid lipstick, Lolita. Just a super good look. All right, you guys, that is the look that I plan on wearing tonight. I'm just gonna shake out my hair. Ooh, look at that hair. <laughs> It is freshly curled, you guys. Um, so it, it'll settle down. So I hope you enjoyed the look and had a little fun with me. Um, yeah, and if you like it, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And yeah, I'll talk to you soon.